Water is an essential resource and our job is to make sure our customers always have a continuous high quality supply of water. And Gross Reservoir Expansion Project will make sure that happens every day. 90% of our supply comes from the south part of the system. This will bring us from 10% to 20%. So we're moving in a direction that gives us some balance and resiliency to deal with climate change, to deal with drought, to deal with catastrophic weather events. Gross Reservoir expansion really entails tripling the size of Gross Reservoir. When we're done, Gross Dam will be the 13th tallest concrete dam in the country and the tallest dam in Colorado. We think about our current project as just a continuation of what was done 70 years ago when the originally Gross Dam was built. It was always envisioned that Gross Dam would be raised in the future and it was designed in a way that it could be raised. The infrastructure, the Moffat Tunnel, the collection system on the west side is all sized and built to deliver more water to Gross. South Boulder Canal, Ralston, and the treatment plants and the distribution system is all meant to handle a larger flow. Since the time that it was built, Denver Water built Dillon Reservoir, which really provided Denver's water need and security up until now and up until the 2002 drought and the 2003 wildfires, in which Denver Water almost ran out of water in the North System. We really knew that we needed to capitalize on what our predecessors did at Gross and expand Gross Reservoir to its fullest capacity so we can have more water where we need it. So we started the environmental review process in 2003 and 4. In 2009, the draft EIS came out. Then in 2011, we did the Fish and Wildlife Mitigation Plan, Fish and Wildlife Enhancement Plan. In 2014, the final EIS was released. 2013, Colorado River Cooperative Agreement, where we brought East and West Slope closer together. The Colorado River Cooperative Agreement really set the framework for how Denver Water was going to engage with communities impacted on both sides of the Continental Divide. The idea being, let's try to find win-win opportunities. Let's do the project in a way that not only meets Denver Water's needs for future water supply, but also benefits local communities and the local aquatic environment. In 2016, we had the settlement agreement with the U.S. Forest Service. In 2017, we had the record of decision. Then we had the FERC decision. They came out with their environmental assessment, then they gave us their FERC order in 2020. We also reached agreements with the city of Boulder, city of Lafayette, and then eventually with Boulder County as well. We partnered with City of Lafayette and City of Boulder to develop what's called the environmental pool, where we will store an additional 5,000 acre feet in gross reservoir that's owned by the City of Boulder and City of Lafayette, and be able to release that water at the most crucial times when South Boulder Creek would otherwise run dry, and be able to provide a benefit and help the fish population in South Boulder Creek. So we started construction in April of 2022, and that was a big milestone for Denver Water and moving this project forward. Well, it's just so exciting to see the dam actually finally being raised, the concrete starting to be placed. RCC is roller compacted concrete, and it's very different than conventional concrete. RCC is more like earth than it is concrete in consistency. It's very hard. It's a really unique blend of science and artwork to really create this mix that we can place very rapidly. This is really an important milestone for us, having gone through all of the regulatory hurdles, the community hurdles, the consensus building that needed to take place. Now the engineering challenges and the construction challenges are upon us. The current dam was designed as a gravity dam, and the new dam is gonna be an arch dam with concrete gravity buttresses. And so just really unique design in that it's an arch. It's an amazing engineering feat to go from a concrete gravity dam to a concrete arch dam, which architects and dam builders will tell you is a pretty uh, monumental undertaking. We're gonna raise the dam over 312 feet in one season, then we're gonna come back and finish the rest up to 471 feet tall the second season. This year and next year, we'll be placing all that concrete, 
and then in 26 start the process of removing all the construction equipment and revegetation and rehabilitation of all the impacts on the surface area that won't be underwater. It's incredible to be a part of the history, to take what's been done before and continue that and to provide water for generations to come. I'm most proud of the way that we've approached the project. We want to meet our customers' needs and we want to do it in a way that does the least harm and more than offsets any impacts associated with the project. I've been involved in dams my whole career and it's just so neat to be involved in something of this magnitude and actually seeing it being constructed is just a really incredible thing to be involved with. What I really want to say is how deeply proud I am to work for this organization and to work with the people who are making this project happen. In the end, I think I'm most proud to be able to, to work on a project that's going to provide water, not only for my kids, but for their kids and generations to come. And that really motivates me and everybody on this project. Mm -hmm.